We're not giving up on you. We just want to provide you with even a better form of home health care. Well, she was going through all of the medical issues that come with stage four congestive heart failure. My parents are both in their late 80s and my father was caring for her and then I came in to help him. We also began to realize that the longer we were doing this, we just needed some help. And it first came to our attention when we started to have to move her into a vehicle from her wheelchair. We were having difficulties doing that. And then we also noticed that at home, we were having problems with the simple things, such as moving her into her bed at night. Then it became problems with personal hygiene, use of the bathroom, changing clothes, just all those things that happen in a home where you need to care for someone when they're disabled. And so we realized we could no longer do this on our own and we needed some help. And people that we know had referred us to Parentis and said that they might be able to come into your home. We just didn't know the services Parentis had until I called and the first thing we found out is that they could help us transport her to a doctor's appointment. And that began our introduction to Parentis. Well, one of the best things was after we had used them just for the transportation, we became aware of all the other services that Parentis had. And so shortly after, they had started helping us with transportation and giving us other ideas about home health care, my mother was readmitted to Saddleback Memorial Hospital. And of course, it would always happen, doesn't it, right around the holidays. And so this was the week of Thanksgiving. And the doctors explained to us that because she was at stage for congestive heart failure, there was really nothing further they could do for her. And so I called Arda, I explained the situation, and she had Tariq come over to the hospital and just visit with my mother, my dad, and myself, and explain a lot of the programs that Parentis had, in particular, residential care. And then he also began to broach the subject of the hospice care that Parentis offered. And my mother was very hesitant to even accept hospice, and she's the one that had to sign herself into the program. But she really felt that hospice may be you know, like you're giving up on her. But Tariq was so able to explain, we're not giving up on you. We just want to provide you with even a better form of home health care. And so we were able that night to get her to agree to it. Arda took us over to Verona Court and helped us, you know, gave us a tour of the house and the house was just beautiful. And then we were able to move my mother to Verona Court. And the first people we met when we got there, of course, uh, were Arlene and Mario. And they were so kind and so welcoming. I know they have done this so many times before, but we had never been through this. And so it took us a couple of days to get my mom settled in, get her medication routine, introduce her to all of the nurses that were there all of the care and then shortly after we finally got her settled in she was also able to meet Dr. Diamond and the hospice doctor I think is one of the most caring compassionate doctors our family has encountered during the time that we were taking care of her he explained to her what hospice was all about how he would oversee her medical care that the nurses would update him daily on all of the care and her needs that my mother was having they just helped her settle settle in. And they also helped my dad and me settle in also. They took good care of us. They made special meals for my mother because she had dietary needs, but they also sometimes would make us a sandwich or if it was late, you know, they'd say, here, have dinner with us. Let us, you know, they just did everything. They took care of us as a family unit. And I think that that's what really helped us during these final months with her. So we ended up taking her there in November. By mid-January, her condition had worsened 
worsened. And so the hospice nurse was with us all of the time. She spent a lot of time just explaining the different stages, what she was going through with her, her body changing as it came close to the end. Uh, so we were very grateful that when the end did come, we were in Verona Court, we were with a hospice nurse. My father and I felt very cared for, and it was just a peaceful moment in our lives, really. So we're very grateful for all that Parentis helped us do during those final months of my mother's life.